welcome back to the Living Banter podcast. We're going to go straight into this episode, so stay tuned. This man has worked with so many great iconic people. He has captured in some of the most iconic pictures in NBA history. In fact, he's become a part of NBA history. He's the most famous fashion designer, celebrity jacket designer. It's Jeff Hamilton. Jeff, welcome to the podcast. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's not a problem. Thank you for coming along. Awesome. Thank so I'm going to yeah. I'm going to hit it off with the first question. So with your main medium of art being leather, what challenges does that bring for you? Um actually it it, it simplifies my 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 journey because for me designing mostly jackets rather than than pants or shirt, I mean which which I des- I've designed everything in my life because my first company was I was the founder of Guess Jeans. Uh, mm. for men originally so uh oh, wow. yeah for me uh designing jackets it's kind of like it seems more complicated for me it's a little bit easier because it gives me a greater canvas for me to showcase my ideas and to do something that that I want to do and and by doing that also I am able to just more showcase my own ideas and and when mm. you see the finished product you know it's a Jeff Hamilton jacket because I've been able to mm. basically it's kind of like art means fashion where where I'm able to 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 do a piece of art with my own style but um doing it like that. No, oh, that's awesome. That's absolutely that. great. And you always you know always definitely see your print on it. Yes. It's that very that's loud. Awesome. It's that very loud punchy jacket kind of look. Mm. And yeah, with your 2020 championship collection, what part of the City of Angels inspired you the most? Um, all of it, all of it. I mean, you know, just like uh, the the great things about what the Lakers are, and and I'm sure it's 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 valid for all the the mm. the, the teams, you know, whether it's soccer in England or or, 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 yeah. or uh, cricket in 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 Mumbai, you know. Everybody stands behind the city, so it doesn't matter what kind of level of, of wealth you are in, whether you're from Beverly Hills or, or you're from the hood in, mm. in, 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 uh, in downtown or whatever, whatever you might be, you know, people are, they have the same love and same passion for their same, for yes. their team and they really support in a certain way. So my, my vision is always to try to capture all the ideas that really represent the moment in time where the championship happened. So, case in point, this jacket, when we did it, you know, mm-hmm. when, when, when we designed that jacket, the idea was I really wanted to get a feeling, which was a continuation of what I did for the 2001, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2009, mm-hmm. 2010 championship jacket. Wow. But also, I want to keep the energy of the 2020. So, mm-hmm. in California, we had all those big, crazy fires and we had all those orange orange skies so i kind of mm. like wanted to indirectly mm. and i would say 99.9 percent of the people buy the jacket don't even have a clue that that's where i was going yeah. for but that's mm. kind of what i want to do but i want to keep it the continuation of what we had and 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 mm. uh kind of a work in progress and try to to okay. make things mm. bigger yeah and you can definitely see it is that's a continuation so awesome. yes yeah, there's always a big story behind the jacket. And mm. I wanted to ask Jeff, you've worked with so many legends, Mike Tyson, Michael Jordan, um, Michael Jackson, Kobe Bryant, so many other legends. But which jacket, maybe not with them, but which jacket has meant the most to you and why? Um, as far as the, the jacket that meant probably the most to me, uh, there's, there's a few of them. But, you know, for me personally, my, my I'm a Laker fan and, and all, but my personal favorite always has, always has been the Michael Jordan jacket mm. because it was like the first time that really, after so many years, people start recognizing that the jacket was an integral part of winning a championship yeah. where people wanted to have, you know, when they won the championship, they always got the championship ring, but it was kind of like they had to wait four or five months before they got their rings. Where here, especially with Michael, it was instant gratification. He would get into the locker room. He would put in his jacket on, on his back, and right away, you know, he felt like he was a champion. And obviously, uh, uh, Kobe and Shaq, being such big followers of Michael and loving him so much as as the icon of, of the game, 
Hmm. They start doing that as well. And fast forward now, unfortunately, with, with Kobe's passing, the the Kobe jacket probably are probably some of the most iconic because mm-hmm. he's been featured in yeah. so many pictures with that. And I mean, I've, I, I probably have run into 20, 30 people have tattoos with my jacket on it, you know, with oh, Kobe geez. on it, you know. And in fact, I'm designing some jackets oh, myself. I'm designing a jacket right now with my jacket with Kobe and my wearing my jackets. It's got a jacket wow. on jacket. Oh, yeah. So, mm. Awesome. It's, yeah, it's, awesome. it's been, it's been yeah. a great thing. Yeah, but one of the other most iconic jackets I've done was the 50 greatest players jackets in the NBA as well. So those those have been getting a lot of stuff. And I'm working uh, mm. for the 22, 2022 75th greatest players in the NBA as well. Mm, nice. And oh, I was, to yeah, and I was just yeah. about to ask you, um, uh, is there anyone in future you plan, you want to work with or plan to work with? Can you give us a little bit of, you know, what are you working on right now? I'm, I'm, I've, I've been blessed because I'm pretty working with, with a lot of the icons of our time, you know? So, I mean, there's a lot of people I always want to work with, which I have not worked with, you know, but right now I'm working a lot with all the Latin stars, the big Latin stars, mm-hmm. whether it's a Daddy Yankee awesome. or or J Balvin or, or Maluma. And so th- those are the things that I'm working with. You know, uh, mm. I-, I see you from Brazil. So I've done a jacket for Neymar, you know? <laughs> no, I'm from South Africa. I just love it. It's from- oh, yeah, okay. So the some stuff like that. So I'm, I'm basically working with a lot of the, the current stars and I'm always looking to, 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 to up my game and, and because at this stage, it's not about simply making jackets and, you know, sure, we're running a business, but also that's my personal satisfaction that I'm, I'm working with all the people I want to, I want to be able to, to work with. Mm, yes, that's absolutely, yeah, that's absolutely awesome. And kind of also another question about the jackets is what was the most difficult jacket for you to design and why is that so? Um... I don't know. All the jackets are difficult to do. It's not, <laughs> there's not such yeah. thing as an easy jacket mm. when it comes to me. It's sure. not. It's not a cookie cutter. Everything is all mm. handmade, hand cut. So, some jacket takes me four weeks. Some ta- some jacket takes me three months to make. So, uh, the wow. design process is is really where I spend my time, and I really love it. But uh, you know, it, 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 it's not that much more difficult than than all the jackets are difficult to make. Mm. Yeah, which makes sense. I mean, the look of it, it can't be something easy at all. Definitely Mm. blood, sweat and tears. Yeah. Yeah. But for when the champions win for NBA or whatever sport it may be, the jackets always it's on standby. How do you know if they're going to win or what's the process like (laughs) getting it there? I, I know you should, I'm, 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 I'm there. I'm in the locker room and, and usually it's not like a, it's very rare. I've never had him in. 35 years I've been making jackets. Hmm. Never had an experience where I had uh, I had made a jacket and the other team won. So usually wow. the feeling, you know, it's like wishful thinking. I wanted yeah. the, the Lakers to win this year <laughs> because of it. <laughs> to me, it was very important on my on 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 my personal legacy mark that I want to keep on in 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 the game hmm. was that having made Michael. Having made Kobe, I wanted to make LeBron also with the Lakers, not with the other teams. So for me, yeah. me being a part of those three generations of, of fans, you know, like mm. most of, of my all the fans today are Kobe because it almost Michael is almost a little bit too long time ago. You guys were not born when Michael was winning the championship. So it's kind of like uh for me that Michael was is always gonna be the greatest. And but of course I could not see maybe how great Kobe was as much as I loved him mm. because I was way too close to him. You know, I was, mm. you know, same three times a week, four times a week mm. for, for the last 20 years, you know? Jesus. So, awesome. Sure. Yeah. His passing must have been so, really hard for you, I can imagine. Great, great to be part of, of, of your thing. Hopefully we can catch up another time and spend a little bit more time. I'm getting ready to go to the NBA All Star today, so I'm a little swamped, right. but I just wanted to keep my word okay. with you. Right? Yeah. So if you can uh, maybe like in a couple of weeks or next month, you want to go a little bit more in depth, I'll be glad to to, to block out some time and spend time with you guys. All right, thank 100%. you. 
Jeff, thank you so much for joining thank us. You so much. Is there any other thank last you. words you have? But thanks for joining. Okay, just 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 keep up the good work, and I'm going to try to do my best to always uh, make uh, cool things and uh, mm. and uh, make it worthy of being in your podcast. <laughs> Definitely yes. worthy. Thank, thank you. you so much, Jeff. Thank you so much for joining us. Guys, go send him some hey, support. Okay, great Hopefully to see you. Hopefully you can have a jacket made by him. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Cheers. Peace.